There was new evidence this morning of a link between some common household chemicals found in cosmetics and plastics and the early onset of menopause. Research finds the effect on women's hormones could accelerate menopause by up to nearly four years, and that could put women at risk for a range of health problems. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles with the latest on this. David, good morning to you. Listen, no woman I know wants early menopause. So what kind of chemicals are you talking about, and what are the dangers that they cause? So normally biology dictates when menopause happens. What this new study did was look at over 100 chemicals, and they found 15 that when they're higher, menopause happens earlier. In fact, year by year, if you're the same age, a six-fold higher chance of being in menopause if you find levels of these in the blood. It's important to note this study is association, not causality, but it's very important that we also realize this finding is imp it, it could change our lives. So, David, many of these chemicals have been banned in the United States for a long time yeah. because of their toxicity uh, and dangers to our health. So why are these still prevalent? You know, it's interesting. Most of them have been banned in the 70s, yet they're still there. They last for many, many years in the environment and over a decade in our blood. Some of them, including a, a class called phthalates, are still being used to soften plastic. So that's why the recommendations are watch when you microwave in plastic and avoid chewing on plastic if you're a young child, et cetera, come from. Uh, is, bad, is early menopause significantly bad for a woman's health? Yeah, there are diseases, osteoporosis, dramatic increase when you go through menopause, heart disease increase when you go to menopause. And so biology normally says when it should happen, and there's a role for that. At the same time, early menopause can accelerate some diseases. So we need to be aware of this. You know, I hate doing stories where you can't wrap it up and tell people exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. But the real message here is to be aware. We need transparency and labeling. And we as a society have to find a way to start to identify these compounds in nature because we're affected. Yeah. But the screen just said uh, personal care items and cosmetics. I really don't know what does that mean exactly. It means that in, in certain cosmetics, lipsticks and others, this is used to soften them. And so stick to the natural products if you can, and we need better labeling so we can identify when these are in compounds. All right, Dr. David Agus, thank you so much.